So in general, the response we got um, from community members were very positive with this idea of a community justice center. Um, a lot of community members felt that this could be um, a, a pivotal and critical piece added to our community to uh, support those who are truly in need. If this model is embraced and embraced fully, that it would could be a really positive thing, but they're really skeptical that it will be fully embraced. Uh, there's a lot of distrust in the justice system and how things have already been working. And so they're not, they're very skeptical about how this will be different from what we already have going on in Madison or in Dane County, sorry. And so they, um, so they were saying, how do we make it different? How does the face different? And how do we actually create like a separation between the uh, courts and the center um, so so people can feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, unfortunately, many lack trust of the current justice system that we have. Um, a lot of them don't have faith in it. There's a lack of rapport. Another uh, theme that was across the board for a lot of the participants in our focus group was um, discrimination or racism and how that oftentimes makes them feel dehumanized by the process or the system. And there was a lot of conversation about what that experience is in ways that the system could support them. They would, they would feel that this would be a way of humanizing and supporting immigrant communities. It's critical that we have all stakeholders on board for this. And someone with lived experience said, everybody's gotta be on the same page. Everyone involved has to be willing to go forward significant effort and just being sensitive to different needs for different people. And so many of them wanted to see, could there be educational um, services at the center to really educate folks about the process and about a person's legal rights. Everyone felt that um, in addition to um, those cultural differences, if there are more Southeast Asians in leadership roles in the legal system, that might help reduce some of those uh, fears and distrust um, in, the, in the legal system. I think one of the themes that grows across the board in addition to the need for um, accessibility both linguistically and culturally for um, immigrant communities is also the ability to share information about what the criminal system looks like, what are the agencies that compose that, and, um, and what are the ways to better access the system. Um, People felt this can be a good collaboration between UW, Madison College. It can allow uh, folks to get their GED, um, address the ALDA issues, um, address their mental health, um, uh, uh, shelter, food. Overall, um, folks like the idea of the Social Justice Center um, so much that even some of the Hmong youth uh, wanted to volunteer to be part of the youth court. So it's a lot of people, they're open to it and they're looking forward to it. They just really want to make sure that it's done correctly the first time. This uh, community justice center could, can, and can be the, the hub, I should say, of a lot of opportunities and resources for our community um, who are in need. And, and this would in, indeed change the mindset because this isn't a, a policy thing or a behavior thing. It's really a hard thing when it comes to a lot of um, the feelings and, and the impressions that individuals have for our community or the criminal justice center. So 